Now when I got into the cell, I stood there and, you know, of course she locked the door and, and left. She went on with her business. So I stood there for about three hours and I didn't know what to do. I was like, now who exactly knows that we've been arrested, that you've been arrested. besides my uncle and auntie? And are they even, because they're also in shock. Are they even going to know that there's somebody they need to yes, call because yes. my son was with my parents? Yeah. Um, so the I whole guess night the whole night I was just in between. I was like I was thinking about my son. I was thinking about all these things were going through my mind. So I got tired of standing and I said, let me sit down. <laughs> so I sat down and leaned on the wall. And then, you know, over time I just dozed off. Okay. So I got up at about, I should say, after about four hours hoping that someone would knock on that door and say, get out of get that out. cell, yeah. but no. The next knock on the door that I heard was that of the police officer, the lady police officer who knocked and said, yeah, it's time to take a shower. <laughs> and I was like, what? Where are we going to take a shower in this place? <laughs> um, but there's something I skipped, actually. I was so pressed when I had just gotten into the <laughs> cell. And I didn't know exactly what to do okay. at that point. So I asked the ladies in the local dialect, what exactly, you know, I want to pee, okay. so mm. what do I do? And they said there's a bucket in the corner over there. <laughs> <laughs> First time. All right. It was crazy. That but was then, crazy, hey, yeah. the next morning we were woken Most, up yeah. to take what a happens? shower. Because we saw a picture of you barefoot, <laughs> barefoot and yeah. uh, what was happening there? Even when at we, that point mm -hmm. in time when we were woken up to take a shower, actually, we are not even told, go pick your shoes, go to the shower. Mm -hmm. No, uh, we are just shown the way to the shower. It was very tiny rooms. The one on the left side was a toilet, okay. and then the other one on the right side was a shower. But it was all cold water, no soap and nothing. So at this moment, so, Joy, do you know that what is happening online? Because that's the time, because Monday morning there was that hashtag, you know, free Joy Doreen Bira. Did you know anything that was happening on the outside? Absolutely Do you know that there not. were people concerned about what was happening with absolutely you? Absolutely not. I had no idea. And at this point in time, I guess I was, I was like, I was even still trying to figure out who the people I was with in the cell were. So when I got outside, when we got to the shower, because there was a bit of light, morning light. Uh, that's when I realized we were four. And the two of them mm -hmm. were young girls, really. All right. And they, some of them actually were part of the royal guards mm -hmm. uh, who were working with the palace, mm -hmm. yeah. 